Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Shawnee T. Turrell and today we're fishing at Star Car Lakes again. Uh, we're going opting for Peg 29 today and they, we've got a nice bright sky, sun on my back. Um, we've got a bit of an issue with wind so we've got the umbrella set up uh, just to try and beat a bit of that off and keep it off the audio. So I apologise in advance if the audio is terrible on this. Uh, I'll have to knock it off and put some jingles over the top of it or something like that. But uh, in the meantime, we're just getting set up. Um, we've got the pole out. I don't do much pole fishing, um, but I thought I'd have a quick whirl on the uh, on the on the uh, clear lake with the with the pole, just to demonstrate. Because I know a lot of people you out, out there uh, do use pole, so I thought it'd be unfair just to stick with the waggler all the time, just to show you guys that pole fishing uh, is more than doable here. Uh, it's a very good venue, in fact, for pole fishing. A lot of our regulars do use pole. Um, so I've got a little Maver pole, only 13 metres, nothing flash. I'm fishing relatively close in. There's a lot of features to either side of me here. I'm going to show, spin the camera around and I'll show you these. Uh, we're going to fish tight to the greers here. Uh, we've got a GoPro set up in the water to catch the fish as they're coming in. Um, we're at the pole. We'll probably only be fishing about two to three rod lengths out. So only the top three to four sections. Um, we've got some light 14 hydroelastic in there. Um, we've got some low diameter line onto a size 12 hook a little bit out of balance but time's against me today um, I do work at uh, night so I'll be setting off at four o'clock so I've only got a five hour session so so we'll uh, we'll get spun round we'll show you the peg we'll show you the backdrop and we'll get fishing so we just got spun round uh, I'm trying to stay behind the confinements of the umbrella just to keep some of the wind off the uh, microphone uh, this is the peg we're fishing it's peg 29 and we're going to be fishing to the greers to the side here, very very tight in. Um, we're only looking at about two foot of water in there, hitting the bottom, keeping double corn on, feeding corn with uh, some robin reds. Uh, if it dries up a little bit we'll see if we can get tight into these greers here or maybe even a little bit further out to that side. But even in the deeper water over there we're only looking at about um, a metre to a metre and a half deep. This is the, uh, the smaller of the three ponds so we do keep it prim uh, primarily for the smaller fish. Right, we'll get set up. So, let's have a quick recap. We're on the pole with the, uh, the 14 hydroelastic, set quite loosely. We've got a carp corn high vis float. We've got a bulk of the shock um, at midway point just to get it down as fast through the layers of the water as possible so we keep away from the smaller fish and we're off the hook link we've got a size 12 hook buried amongst a couple of bits of corn um, idea is to keep it nailed on the bottom and hopefully pick up the, uh, the larger fish like the tench maybe the crucian carp uh, and keep away from the smaller stuff higher up in the water so we've got plumbed up and we are I've opted for three sections of the pole uh, to keep it tight into the greers, I've left a little bit of line on between the uh, connector and the uh, the float, just to give me a bit of control, so I can I can opt where I put it a little bit, and also it's easier for swinging it in in the wind because today is a bit blustery. That's a nice little roach. So again, we're just sticking with a big corn. We've got a selection of boilies, we've got some robin reds and some other hookable boilies. Um, remember in the last video we were using these Drennan boilies. Um, picked up quite a lot of tension with them, especially the skimmers as well, they liked them, but slightly different in this pond since uh, there isn't as many skimmers uh, now. So we'll zoom in. So we've left a couple of uh, the dust shot off deliberately just so we can spot the float a little easier on the camera when we need to. So I say this is the uh, peg 29 if you can see over there straight ahead them them greers that isn't the far bank that is actually an island the pond continues beyond that 
and we've got behind it we call the canal section. Um, just flick up we've got the uh, up towards that side there we've got the bridge and we've got some nice little pegs underneath trees here along this side but the wind isn't very good for us there at that point today so we've also got the GoPro set up in the water there ready for when the fish start coming in So today we're uh, struggling to pick the bites up a little bit. So we've uh, we've opted to drop the uh, size 12 hook and we've gone into a 16 with single corn. Now we're just going to see if we can pick up some of the uh, the smaller stamps of fish to start with, and see if we can encourage some of the bigger fish in. Um, I'm not sure why it's been such a slow start. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's what I'm using. Um, I've started to introduce some uh, pellets now, just to see if we can liven things up a little bit. We'll see if we can uh, jiggle it along a little bit. So, although we're really after tench and um, maybe a little small carp, crucian carp, we're getting some very good stamps of roach on the corn. Um, it'd be a shame to, to not really fish for them. So in the meantime, we're going to carry on as we are. Uh, no change of tactics really. Um, still carry on introducing the pellets as well, um, but just enjoy picking up the roach um, as well as to keep coming in the stairs like that. Um, but no complaints, and we'll just see if we can get amongst the tench later on. So this is more like what we're after. Uh, lovely little green tench, uh, about three quarters of a pound, if that, at the moment, only a young one, but there's loads of these in here, and this is what really what we're targeting today. If we can get some more of these, it'll be a good day. Drop this little fella back. Looks like we might be into another one. So now the bite's starting to come in. This is what we're really after. This is the second one now. I'm going to hold it up to the camera carefully. We don't want to be losing him. Uh, lovely little green tench. Uh, only about half a pound, but we've got quite a lot of these in here. This might be one of the new additions, but nonetheless, still enjoy catching them. Uh, some of our regulars can catch 20, 30, 40 of these a day. Uh, so it is, it is very good for the, uh, the tench fishing. While we're on the subject of the tench, uh, next week being the 8th and 9th, we have got our annual tench hunt. Uh, that takes place here over the course of two days. So to enter, I think this might be a few places left. Um, if you uh, join us on Facebook, on Star Car page, uh, our tickets are £10 for the day, for a Saturday, £10 for the Sunday, and £10 if you want to fish overnight. So, accumulatively, if you want to fish all of it, it's 30 quid for the full weekend. That's the Saturday, Saturday night, and Sunday. And for that, you'll also get fed on the Saturday night. You'll get your tea. We've got a choice of chili or pizza, I think, this time. And uh, you'll also get your breakfast on the, the morning. So, you couldn't even go to a BB for that. Never mind. What's that, Premier Inn? 25 quid now. So, 30 quid, you get fed here and uh, you get your, your fishing for the full weekend. So there's still a few places available and the price for that is um, uh, has been in the past and I think it's the same this year uh, some free fishing opportunities, uh, some free days. Uh, get joined up, see what the prizes are for this year and if you're interested um, get your money paid up and let's see you uh, next week. In the meantime we're going to have a quick bait up again and we're going to get chucked back out and see if we can get some more of these little tench. If not I'll be happy to catch some of the uh, decent stabs of roach again on the corn. Oh guys, um, I've just had another little tench, um, but I forgot to press record. Uh, if you don't believe me, there's the proof. Um, I'll try and remember to hit the magic button this time.
so that they're very small. They're still putting it into catch. Good little fight, huh, Paul? So guys, we've got quite a couple of uh, little tench now. We've got some good stamps of roach. Um, since those bites are coming in like quite thick and fast now, um, we've just had a quick five minutes, baited up, gone got a cup of coffee, uh, charged the camera for a few minutes. So I just had a bit of an idea to have some fun. Um, I've gone and dug out one of the big poles that we use for um, clearing out the pegs. Uh, while the GoPro's charging, I've strapped to it my underwater camera and I've carefully lowered it down to where the uh, tension feed in, in that area and stay on record. So hopefully, uh, with the baiting over the top of it and fishing close to it, we might get to see some uh, tench action down there as well, with them feeding and uh, the normal behavioural patterns, as long as they're not too spooked by the camera. But So hopefully when we get out in a few minutes time, we'll, we'll either have some footage or we won't. So at this point, we'll stick it on the video for you, for you all to see. into the margins as possible. Of With a bit of luck hopefully my hook will be um, at least I missed the first one will at least be about two foot away from the um, the camera on the bottom so there's no not much chance of snagging it. I can't get in that close from my pole to, to get to where the camera is, deliberately so. This feels like another one. No, no, skimmer this time. Wrong. Good little skimmer. So we've just struck into what feels like maybe a small carp, if not a decent sized tench. Uh, I've just had some good footage of, a, of the bite, a very typical tench bite. Uh, messing around with it for a little while before it took it, which was nice to see. Uh, I think 
when we get this one out, it might be close to the end of the day for me. We might get time for another fish or so, but I'm going to have to start getting wrapped up soon and get myself ready for work and head off. nice fish to see that'll be about it for the day um, you get a chance for another drop in but I think we're generally looking at a packing up time so guys that's it for me here today at Star Car I've come in out the wind so you guys can hear me um, just a bit of a recap we've been fishing on the small clay pool on peg 29 now the small clay pool really has fish featured up to around five pounds so if you're going to fish with a pole it's a great location to do it you know you're not really going to get smashed off by anything like super massive in there we're being really targeting today the tench so we managed to bag eight or nine of them only smallish ones up to about a pound today nothing massive but they were definitely there um, bumped off a few larger ones we've had some good stamps of roach and some skimmers so all in all it's been a very good day um, for me I'm gonna have to get washed and changed and get myself off to work um, but that's it I'm sorry this is a day so late but I didn't really get around to fishing on the of the weekend so this is Monday so just while we're here that you guys like this video please give it a big fat thumbs up and if you also fancy seeing this and the other videos and you'd like to see more of them please hit that subscribe button all the support we get is greatly appreciated uh, if you fancy watching any of the other videos that we've done please flick back through uh, the channel and see the other ones that we've done up to now and we've got many more to come so also if you are interested in match fishing um, we have got we are now taking match bookings for all three lakes so if you fancy that hit us up in the comments section below and we'll give you some contact details also we still keep pushing we've still got the lodge is uh, available for fishing hire so please get in contact if you fancy that that will give you our prices according to the seasons the prices also include the fishing which is brilliant so also coming up we have got the tench hunt this weekend this is the 8th and 9th of june this year where this is an annual thing we've got so if you fancy fishing it we have got um saturday up for grabs saturday nights and sundays if you want to fish all three it's 30 pounds that includes your breakfast and your dinner of the saturday and sunday mornings right from all of us here at stark high lakes thank you very much for watching and see you again soon i am on a whole nother level girl he only fought you over cause you let him girl, i guess he didn't know any better girl that man didn't show me ever do all i can just to show you you're special certain it's your love that holds me together you say he